Hey, what is up guys? Shady Wags with Got Your Back Gaming. And I put out a couple Battlegrounds videos and people have commented, well, it looks real laggy and your FPS looks horrible. And that is absolutely true to both of those. Other people have said, well, your PC is a potato. That's not true. I have a pretty good gaming rig. Actually, your head's a potato because you wouldn't have posted that if you knew that the game is in early access and it's not optimized. There are graphical and sound issues right now, and the first optimization patch should be coming out sometime in April. I know a lot of people are having trouble just like I am. Luckily, someone has released some tweaks you can make to the game that will possibly boost your FPS. Now, I can't take credit for this. I did see it on the message boards. I gave it a shot and it did wonders for me and hopefully for you. Now, this is for early access version 2.1.32. And the first thing you want to do is go to Steam, right click on Player Unknown Battlegrounds, then click on Properties. Now, click on the Set Launch Options button. And in that field, you want to paste the following line. I'll go ahead and put that command line in the description. So if you just want to copy and paste from there, you can do that. And we'll go through what each one of these is doing. Refresh, that's going to set the refresh rate in your monitor. If you don't have a 144 hertz monitor, then you can just remove this. By setting max mem, this is going to allow the game to access more RAM than the default. I have 16 gigs, so I've set this to 13,000. If you have eight, you probably want to set it around 7,000. Malik, not exactly sure what this is doing, but it does have something to do with dynamic memory allocation. And force feature 11.0 is another command that I believe that is telling the game to use DirectX 11.0. And the last one, use all available cores. By setting that, you're allowing the game to use all the cores that you have. So after you pasted that in and made any necessary changes, go ahead and click on the OK button and close. Next up, we're going to go to Windows. I'll right click here and select Run. And then I'm going to type in percent, app data percent. You want to go up a folder, then go to the local folder, and you want to find the TSL game folder. Then go into saved, config, and finally Windows no editor. And from there, you want to find an open game user settings. You want to change these settings right here under scalability groups. Resolution, you want to keep that at 100. These next two are going to be determined by what type of machine you're running this on. I know mine can handle the top settings, so I leave it on four. I've seen people suggest to change both of these to two. So you're going to have to make that decision between quality and speed. So go ahead and try it both ways and see what works for you best. Shadow quality, you can set that at zero. I personally don't like it that low, so I set it to one. Post process quality, set that to one. Texture quality, three effects quality one, and then foliage quality zero. Next, you want to find B use vSync and make sure to set that to false. If it's set to true, that will limit your FPS. After that's all done, go ahead and hit file and save. Now, the next thing that is totally optional, but potentially can help is to delete your temporary application files. I go back to Windows, I'm going to right click and select run and type in percent temp percent. And you want to delete every file in that folder. Any file that you can't delete, just skip over. These are temporary files that Windows creates when you run an application. After that's all done, just start up your game and give it a try. Hopefully this works for you. It made a giant difference for me and you can see exactly here the difference it's made. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, I really would appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. If you have not already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Later.